Let's think negative x squared is a square, red square, and negative x is a rectangle, and negative 1 unit, the constant, is a small red box. Now, similarly, in my left, I have yellow colors for the positive values of each x squared, x, and unit 1. So that's the understanding we want to know to use the the tiles or the lego kind of method and uh, this will make you understand what's your algebraic writing and what comes out of your calculator uh, the values for x right so let's get an example to visualize this and uh, you see how the math works in it right so i'm i'm going to use the factors given for x and then i'm going to build uh, this tile uh, picture for you so my example has let's see x plus 2 and the bracketed and then i have 2x plus 1 so we're going to use this one you can also i know you can write the foil and I will have it. I have a different video for that one, but I'm just going to visualize this one. Take this one, this x, and here is the 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 horizontal line, the second set of brackets, and the first set of brackets vertically. I'm going to put it. Okay. Now, two x is actually two rectangles, correct? And then unit one is a square yellow box. So the yellow for the positive values. Now I have X is a rectangle and two is two yellow boxes, little boxes. Now squares actually, right? Now you see um, rectangle times rectangle, then that X times X will get the X squared. And then again, X, uh, X times X will get the X squared. And now we have x times unit 1 will get x. And then here you have 1 times x is x. And again, 1 times x is x. And 1 times 1 is x. Again, uh, 1 times x is x. 1 times x is x. And 1 times 1 is 1. So you see now we completed that one, right? two sets of uh, back bracketed factors, we multiply that one, right? And that's how picture looks like. Okay, so now we can move on. To, you see the two, um, now I have two x squared, so we can write that. And then I have how many x's? I have one, two, three, four, five x's, and there's two units. Now we can use the FOIL method to test. So 2 first will get me 2x squared, 2 first terms, and then the 2 outside terms will give me x, and then the 2 inside terms should give me 2 times 2x, which is 4x, right? And so, yes, 2 times 2x is 4x. It should be 4x. Yes, and uh, then what I have the last two terms, 2 times 1 is 2. So now, the two middle terms you can put together, x plus 4x will give me this 5x. Voila, so that's that.